Hello and welcome back to Mirror Interpretation to the Robot. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Joanna and I am an interpreter and a polyglot. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing and subscribing and thank you for writing me your comments. You do inspire me and you make me keep going, speaking with you when I just want to be quiet, especially during the weekend. And today we're going to do a healthcare screening consecutive interpreting practice. This is a medical interpreting consecutive practice. I was waiting for this click. And this is going to be a healthcare screening for a healthcare plan. Uh, that's a long call that I chop in two again. Saving, of course, withdrawing the personal information from the call and using it for educational purposes, that's a real call. All my um, training videos are based on real calls with removing the personal information. There is nothing more real than what you get here. It's not something that I thought of, but it's real. As real as it gets, that's how it is to interpret. And some of the calls get a very strange direction. The reason why is because they are real. It's unpredictable. We're going to talk about consecutive screening and three, two, one. Please respond to this questionnaire for the last five years. Do you have or have you been diagnosed with neurology problems or with diabetes? Not through neuropathy, I have slight diabetes. I take a pill called metformin, but my doctor said my condition is pre-diabetes. Do you have a kidney disease? proteinurea or problems with circulation. What is proteinurea problems? I don't know. I do not have a kidney problems though. A proteinurea problems is to have a lot of protein in the urine when you urinate. Oh no. Do you have a circulatory problem, blood circulation? No, but I like to let you know when you talk about circulation, I have something called compensated pressure, which means that I take a pill for high blood pressure. Okay, do you have fibrosis of the liver, cirrhosis of the liver, liver failure, chronic disease of your lungs? No. What about kidney problems? No.
Hemotropic sclerosis or multiple sclerosis? Do you know multiple sclerosis is a disease? Yes, but I don't have it, no. Okay, what about Alzheimer, dementia, or Parkinson? No, thanks God, not. Or what about other ill issue or disease that will require a, a transfer or bone marrow transplant, stem cells transplant, transplant, or other illnesses that require tra transplantation or transplant? No, absolutely not. What about any other disease that require bone marrow transplant, stem cell transplant, or any other transplantation of organs or tissue? No, no. Okay, now I would ask you those questions and I need you to answer me for the last or the past two years, okay? Okay, I understand the past two years. Have you had artery blockage, heart bypass, stand on the heart or the artery, angioplasty procedure, ballon angioplasty to unblock your artery or vein blockage? No, no. Have you had a heart attack, insult, cardiomyopathy, enlarged heart, atrial fibrillation, or disease? No, but I used to have a problem called super, super ventricle tachycardia but I did not have atrial fibrillation. And again, in the past two years, have you had coronary artery disease, in infarct, myocardial infarct, trans ischemic heart disease? No. Stroke. No. Disease of the blood vessels or imputation as a result of peri periphery blood vessel disease. Periphery blood vessel disease. No. COPD, emphysema, fibrosis, cyst fibrosis disease, 
or similar disease? No. Any other disease related to lungs respiratory system because of which you need to use a nebulizer, oxygen, or more than three medication prescribed by the doctor? Well, I told you I don't have this problem. How can I have complications like that and need medications? No. Okay. What about hemoteria, hepatite different from A, pancreatitis? or inflammation of the pancreas? No, no. Okay, do you have osteoporosis or do you receive injections uh, or procedures for the fracture of the bones? I have not suffered osteoporosis, but I broke my hand a few years ago when I fell. Well, I think I may have osteoporosis because of my age, but but I have not received any injections or cure. It's not treated at all, like nothing diagnosed. Okay, now other disease, hemophilia, it's an A or, or B type. This means lack of blood clot factor in the blood vessels, which cause heavy bleeding or problem with the blood clot. Then spirocystosis, red blood cells disorder, and will brand disease, blood do not clot anemia or other bleeding disorders no Do you suffer particular paralysis disease or of paralysis of the spine? Is a particular disease when your spine becomes small or narrow it? It's a bone disease. Do you have it? Okay, what about rheumatoris or rheumatoid art arthritis or disease like that?
No, I don't have those, but you know that I am old and maybe due to my age, I suffer stuff, but not diagnosed with. Arthrosis, no. Arthritis, no. Not as well. Okay. Okay, and here is the end of our questionnaire, healthcare questionnaire. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for supporting me. I hope that this was useful for you. If you do want to say thank you, you can press like, write me a comment below. Do let me know if you had enough time to interpret. I hope you did. Thank you guys for being here and have a great day. Bye-bye.